depending on when you see this video, it might be vacation time. Or not. But if it is vacation time and you're looking for things to make your vacation better or more memorable, then I have got my 8 best vacation gadgets for you today. That's right. And for each gadget, you will find of course a link in the video description. So a brief look down there is always worth it. Gadget number one is actually not a real gadget, rather a must have. <laughs> Off to a good start. Who doesn't know this? You want to take a picture of a beautiful sunset or sunrise. It's dark anyways, daylight is slowly creeping up. This is when you can probably forget Get about handheld photography. Likewise, the quick self-portrait, also called selfie. If we want to escape the classic duck face cell phone style ugh, and add a little more quality, we resort to a decent camera with self-timer. Here and there, however, something could quickly go south. Of course, our first gadget has countless other uses. Nevertheless, a tripod is one of my most important companions. Whether it is a small handy one with flexible legs or a reasonable one with a height adjustment and ball head, the choice is up to you. Personally, I use a sturdy one for my videos in the studio, on which I can attach my video head from Manfrotto. For on the road, I like to fall back on something light and compact. For this case, the affordable KNF TM2324 has served me faithfully since 2018. This thing is still widely available, comes with a bag, a ball head and adjustable center column and costs $89.99. But it can save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars by preventing, for example, that your camera falls down from the tree. A rather James Bond-like gadget is the next one on the list. Known from ancient James Bond movies, where he has such a filter integrated in his glasses and thus can look through reflective windows. It is a polarizing filter. In this case, it is a whole set of magnetic filters. It consists of a UV filter, a polarizing filter and an ND filter. The three can be combined with each other because the UV filter has a thread and the other two are magnetic. The two magnetic ones can also be used without the UV filter with the help of the adapter ring. Yeah, but what do I need these for anyway? I'm glad you asked. You need them to bring your vacation memories to the next level. Want an example? Watch this. This picture is without a polarizing filter. And this one is with, makes a big difference. In short, a polarizing filter reduces the reflection on reflective surfaces, like water, and gives the image more brilliance, contrast and depth. It just looks more awesome, period. And an ND filter or neutral density filter makes the image darker, in this case by a factor of 1000, hence the name ND1000. So if you need an exposure time of one thousandths of a second without the filter, you can extend the time with the filter to a whole second. The use of the tripod from point one is absolutely crucial here. Uh, yes, but normally you want as much light as possible for filming and photographing, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. But if you want to make your pictures a bit more special or film outside in bright sunlight with as large an aperture as possible for that beautiful bow Okay, such a filter is indispensable. Here is another example. This is photographed without an ND filter. And this is with an ND filter. By darkening the picture you get the possibility to choose a much longer exposure time, which makes the water so nice and cloud-like soft. Now if you want some blur in the background, you need a more open aperture, which leads to overexposure in bright sunlight. The ND filter makes the image darker again. We can use a low aperture and we get a nice bokeh, even outdoors in bright sunlight. The filters in that case also from the company KNF are really high quality and in this price range quite unrivaled. Magnetic filters with this optical quality actually costs twice or three times that price. But KNF delivers on price and performance here and produces filters without significant color distortion, aberration or vignetting. The magnets are strong enough that they don't fall off even when the camera is bumped hard. The filters currently cost $104 for my 67mm lenses and the set includes a UV filter, adapter ring, polarizing filter and ND filter in a small carrying bag with zipper and magnetic tab. Prices for other filter sizes vary a bit, just check the page I link in the video description. What kind of list would that be if it wouldn't include a compact and waterproof 
Camera. After some comparative testing, the GoPro Hero 11 was the perfect tool for me. Finally stable software, waterproof up to 10 meters. Best image stabilization I have come across so far. With this I can even go without a gimbal. Just look how smooth that is. <laughs> and this is handheld. Only the low light performance leaves a lot to be desired. But this is me coming from a full frame sensor. But for low light and indoor shooting the camera is really borderline usable. I mainly use it for shooting outdoors, in daylight and for snorkeling. In combination with one of the next gadgets it is absolutely the perfect fit. So stay tuned if you want to know which other gadget can be perfectly complemented with this camera. Often underestimated or even forgotten at home. A card reader. You record your trips with the GoPro every day. But you only have one memory card. So you know the problem memory card full. If your laptop, which you have with you of course, has no card reader integrated, you're screwed rather quickly. So just pack a small card reader like this one. It can read micro SD and normal SD cards, it connects via USB-C and simply just works. If you don't want to take a laptop with you, you can also use a hard disk or flash drive with a small backup station. For example the new Q -File Hub AC750. Here the memory card can simply be inserted into the housing and all files are transferred from the card to the disk at the touch of a button. The whole thing can be controlled via app or simply be operated standalone. A really good alternative if you don't want to lug around a laptop that doesn't even fit the hotel room safe. In case of the GoPro, a little disappointing. The battery can only be charged in the camera because no external charger is included. So you always have to plug in the camera to charge a battery. A singular one battery at a time if you have two batteries and also need them both during the day you can't just charge them overnight no you have to wait until the first battery is charged and then plug the other one into the camera this is stupid. Gadget number 5 offers an alternative for this. A double or even triple charger like this one. With this you can even charge 3 batteries at once. I myself do not have such a charger because I got my eyes on a charger that has an integrated battery to charge the GoPro batteries on the go, which I find pretty nifty. It's just a little more pricey. If you are also interested in this thing, just take a look in the video description. Of course there are battery chargers for probably every camera battery out there, so a look in this direction is actually worth it. I don't go anywhere without gadget number 6. It doesn't matter if I'm going to work or on vacation, I always have them with me. My headphones. For quite some time now the trusty companions of choice are the Mackie MP20 TWS. The case can tell you that I don't spare them. Once I even accidentally stepped on it so the case has a crack now. Great. Fortunately this does not affect the function and they still run for a good year now without any problems. And why did I choose these headphones? Well on one hand of course because of the nearly perfect sound. These headphones sound balanced, have really powerful bass, great mids and clear highs. Listening to music is simply super fun at any volume. On top of that, they offer very good noise cancellation. Especially on the plane or train, this can save your day. And for the icing on the cake, these things have a really good battery life. Per charge in the earbuds up to 13 hours. So not with recharging in the case, no 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 my friend. Once taken out of the box the MP20 TWS powers through the whole day. Put them in when you start your work day and at the end of work there will still be at least 30 to 40 percent battery left. In my eyes one of the most outstanding features. Simply really good earbuds. If you're interested in a detailed review about it feel free to tell me in the comments. Also easy to be overlooked sometimes because everyone and their moms take their regular phone chargers. But what about other USB devices? GoPro, e-cigarette, smartwatch, tablet, headphones and whatnot. For any trip also one of my most important gadgets is a charger with multiple USB ports, which may also have reasonable power to charge things a little faster. Of course a set of charging cables such as those from Jzaux, I don't know. <laughs> I got a set of three of this type for a really long time now. Taking them with me in my backpack, using them in the studio, still going strong. And the charger I have is unfortunately no longer available, but if you rely on a reputable brand, you do not do much wrong. For example, the Anker Power Port 6. 
And as the final item on the list, we get to the previously announced gadget, which in combination with the GoPro forms the perfect set. It is a snorkel mask. And not just any snorkel mask, but one with a sensible airflow that prevents you from re-inhaling stale air. Let me introduce the snorkel mask from Karoo, designed in Germany, made probably in China. <laughs> they have a separate airway for fresh air and another one for exhaled air. We already have two of them. The newest one brings a new feature, which I think is pretty nifty. Here the exhaled air is also discharged through the snorkel, making it easier to breathe. In the older mask, or other models of the mask, the air is directed out of the side of the mask, which firstly makes it constantly bubbling directly into your ears, which is loud and annoying. And secondly, the exhale is somewhat heavier because you have to breathe through water. The inhale air strokes along the inside of the mask, so it also never fogs up. These things are just really well thought out. And what's about the GoPro now? Yeah, well, the masks come with integrated GoPro mounts that can be removed. Super handy. I would have liked the placing on the chin, but the attachment point is on the forehead. Not too bad. But if you look forward whilst swimming, it can happen that the camera repeatedly sticks out of the water and then dives back in. I got around this by mounting the camera upside down, which allows it to come down a few inches and reliably stay underwater. In short, for snorkeling and filming, this is the perfect combination. And those were my 8 most important gadgets that I take with me on every vacation. Again, you can find everything in the video description and if you buy something there, you directly support my channel. What are your most important things to get a perfect vacation? Drop this down in the comments, I'm really curious. Now I wish you a perfect vacation. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay loud, I'm out. Bye.